Dude, this setup is so strong, bro. I don't think they were really like, like thinking about the repercussions. Look at this. The fact that I could kill somebody that quickly from a range like that is just not even fair. Yeah. It's that Z2. Whoa. No. Shima flow. Yeah. 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 Okay, listen up. Call of Duty Mobile may have made a pretty big mistake. Uh, yeah, so Gunsmith is pretty broken. I think it's pretty clear by now. We've seen some videos. We've seen some clips. We got more of them in today's video. If you guys don't already know, the Cordite is a pretty strong weapon, and it's known for having pretty good hip fire. If you put the right attachments on it in Gunsmith, it's even stronger than it already is in the hip fire department, and it makes it so you can actually just, like, play an entire game without scoping in at all. So here's some gameplay of me playing with the Cordite, not scoping in at all, and then after that, I'm gonna go over the gunsmith setup that I made for this gun, uh, and you guys will see what I used on it that made the hip fire so much stronger than it already is. This is going to be uh, the first video in a series that I'm just gonna call Breaking Gunsmith. So we're getting started here with the Cordite. Let's get into it. We got the broken Cordite setup here, showing you guys that you can cross map people without even having to scope in with this gun. It's actually crazy. Look at this. Let's see if I can just get this guy off the start. Yo, okay. Oh my god. They had this actually in the um, in the test server, and I remember like using it, and I was like, oh, okay, nice. I, I was like, I wonder if they'll fix this. Th you could literally just cross map people without even having to scope in. And I was like, will they fix this? We'll see. Nah, they didn't fix it. You could still do it. Oop, I didn't actually finish that guy off. But yeah, it's really strong. We have actually the 90 bullet mag on this gun as well. So you actually don't need to reload that much, which makes it even stronger than it already is. But honestly, like, for in a ranked environment... Ooh, okay, he got us from the side. This shipment map is really cool, dude. There's, like, so much action always happening. It's really small, and people can, like, always sneak up on you, so you gotta be careful. But anyways, like, in a ranked environment, the setup is really good. Not from longer ranges, though, because obviously, like, with, with hip fire only, you're not gonna get, like, a perfect accuracy from long range. But honestly, from close range and mid range, it's, it's pretty solid. Like, you don't even need to worry about ADSing, so of course you're gonna be shooting at them before they could shoot at you, because you kinda get that extra advantage. And also, I'm gonna pull out my, I think it's called the Shadow Blade, I believe. They changed the name. Here, let me go and use the smoke combo. Chuck the smoke in there, pull out the blade, and we could just see everybody <laughs> through the smoke. Oh no, I got hit by the Shock RC, it's all good, bro. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, this thing is so broken. Oh, that guy just spawn kills us, dude. You serious? All right, we'll drop in our score streaks. Go ahead and take that guy out right there. Oh, God. But yeah, speaking of... um, I might actually die here. Speaking of broken hip fire setups, the, what's it called? The, um, the chopper actually has really good hip fire if you put the right attachments on it as well. But the reason I decided the Cordite's got a little bit better is just because with the Cordite, you can actually be, like, mobile. You know, you get more... Hey, that guy just one-shotted me with the QQ9. Uh, you, you're mobile, so you get more movement speed. You could just overall move around faster. But since the chopper is an LMG, you're slower. So I think this setup's a little bit better. We actually might need to start playing objective because we just lost by nine points. It's all good, though. The amount of points I capped during that game, <laughs> zero. I was literally just running around getting Cordai hit fire kills. All right, we'll actually get some points this game, though. Dude, this setup is so strong, bro. I don't think they were really, like, like thinking about the repercussions of the um, gunsmith. And did we get A? That's right. It actually pauses on, like... So, like, if you're capping a point and say you get halfway to capping it, but you die, it actually stays on um, halfway. So, like, you could just go ahead and pick it up after you die. Unless they get on it. It's kind of cool, though. Like a new system. Dude, I could hit people from that. Okay, not really. I was going to say. If I could just laser somebody from that far, that's when you know we'd have a problem. Hello, die, please. Thank you. Dude, this map is just craziness, man. It's such a small map, and there's always crazy stuff going on. Alright. Let's take these guys out here. Let's see what's... What do we got next? What's up, buddy? <laughs> Screw it. We're going in with the sword. No, dude. I'm trying to chop these guys up like sushi. And this guy's got a VTOL. Let me have my fun. Okay, they're all over here. Oh, hold up. Hold up. We got a victim. Dude, the sword is actually like the animation. Like, it goes so quickly that sometimes you don't even see what's happening. When you're chopping people up. 
Stop taking my kills, Vito. I'm trying to make sushi. I'm trying to chop them up. Come here, bro. Come here. Ah, oh, dang it. I ran into lifetimes. God, what is happening? Okay, I need to reload. Okay, well, that's it. Dude, this game is craziness, man. What happened, dude? Ever since they added Gunsmith, everything is just so crazy. Oh, man. This guy really just... Uh, if I would have brought the VTOL, that would have been too rude. I I'm glad I did what I did. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Um, Some of your favorite... Give me some of your favorite, like, gunsmith combos in the comments. And I'll do some for some future videos. But there are so many that, that are broken right now. Like, the Cordite is just one of them. That's just one of them. Alright, guys. Now we're really gonna put this gun to the test with the setup. So we have free-for-all, right? Every man for himself. We are going to see if we can win this free-for-all without using, of course, the core mechanic of Call of Duty Mobile, which is like scoping in and aiming. So here we go. We're just pure hip-firing. See if we can just win here. <laughs> of course, we got our 90-bullet mag as well, so we're not even going to be reloading much. Oh, my. I could try to throw a nade. Bad idea, bro. Bad idea. <laughs> All right. Somebody's got something over here. I hear something. It's going to sound like a shotgun. I don't know. So strong, dude. <laughs> Literally just run around and hip fire. Like, what is this? Okay, well, probably should actually reload now. We got eight bullets left. Oh, hey, buddy. Just a little bit of strafing. Another thing that's really nice about doing this. Oh, wait. Another thing that's really nice about hip fire is you could just, like, you could just strafe really nicely, too. Because when you're ADS, it kind of reduces the speed which you can strafe. If you guys know what strafing is, just moving side to side while you're shooting at somebody, like making it harder for them to shoot you. With hip fire, it's really nice because you can strafe a lot faster. I'll only take this guy. Oh, hey, buddy. Hold on, let me go ahead and reload up here. Jump the guy right outside. He's got the snipe. Oh, my. Took my kill from me. How dare you. Oh, my. He was right there. <laughs> okay, GG. All right. So this guy here. Enemy UAV, Enemy UAV spotted. I don't care. I'm moving around too fast anyway. Alright. Probably some dudes over here. Yup. Look at this. The fact that I can kill somebody that quickly from a range like that is just not even fair. Like, how would you feel if you're just getting cross-mapped by this guy who doesn't even scope in with his weapon and war would you come from eight? Nice potato. That almost killed me. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna interrupt you guys' duel. Let's finish this one off with the katana. Why not? Oop. Got a smoke grenade back there. Hey. I'm gonna finish this guy. He doesn't even know I'm behind him. <laughs> uh, too toxic. Nyom. Nyom. Who's next? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was dead. <clears throat> Three more kills. We clean this one up. Just go ahead and use this stuff, I guess. Oh wait, I got I forgot to use my uh my answer killer drone group. Hold up, somebody's here. Somebody just spawned in. I'm playing with him. <laughs> Alright, hundred killer drone. Let's see if you can get the last kill. Oh god, too late. Wait, I wanna do something. <laughs> okay, Hunter Killer was gonna RPG him. <laughs> hunter killer drone got it. <laughs> hunter killer drone got the last kill. <laughs> Bruh. How toxic of me. We'll see if they fix it. I, I don't think they will. But there's a chance that they might, like, nerf the hip fire attachments. Because that's just too strong. It's just really too strong. And then also on the, um, on the chopper. Like, if you use these, like, no hip fire attachments. It's also really strong on the chopper as well. So, we'll see what they do about this. Alright, guys. Here we go. So, this is what we're using on the Cordite. Starting off with the muzzle. So, we got this uh, flash guard one. It's actually going to give us a little bit of hip fire accuracy. That's why I threw it on. Um, it does reduce ADS speed. But, uh, guess how many times we ADS'd in today's gameplay? Zero. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter. It's giving us hidden muzzle flash, ADS bullet spread accuracy, and hip fire accuracy. We don't care about the ADS bullet spread accuracy, of course, because we're not ADSing. But um, hip fire accuracy is, of course, the best thing we're getting from that. Uh, not using any barrels, optics, stocks. We are using a perk, and this one's actually pretty important. Um, it's jumping and sliding hip fire accuracy. So if you're jumping and sliding, it's going to kind of reduce your hip fire. But with this perk, not as much. So it's just really useful because, well, all we're doing is hip firing. So you might as well throw on a perk like this. Uh, for the laser sight, this is the most important attachment on this uh, broken hip fire setup. So we got the MIP or MIP, I don't know what you would call that, laser 5MW. 
Uh, it's going to give you the visible laser sight, which doesn't really matter other than just kind of giving your position away a little bit more, but it's going to give you hip fire accuracy and sprint to fire speed. Just really useful. It's going to give you the most um, hip fire accuracy out of any of the other laser sights. This one does also give you hip fire accuracy. This one gives you a little bit more, and then this one actually doesn't give you any hip fire accuracy at all. And uh, we got the... Um, the foregrip, the Merc foregrip specifically, I think this is the only one actually that gives you, yeah, it's the only one that gives you hit fire accuracy, so we just threw this one on. It does reduce ADS speed and ADS movement speed, but we're not ADSing, so we don't care. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we got, and then the magazine capacity. This one is a little bit busted, just alone. We could get 90 bullets on this Cordite, so we're throwing that on. It's reducing our movement speed, which kind of sucks, but it's not too big of a deal, and then it reduces our ADS speed, but guess what? We're not ADSing, like we, we've already said, so we don't care. But yeah, 65, you know, this one's also pretty good, but I'd rather just get the extra, the extra ammo. So we're just running giant magazine size, no ads hip fire cordite setup and it's really really strong as you guys saw in the gameplay so if you guys want to make it for yourself go ahead and try it and also if you want to try another gun with really good hip fire try the chopper the chopper find attachments that have like you know buffs to the hip fire and then just hip fire with the chopper it's also really strong just like the cordite of course you won't be moving as quickly because well it's the chopper it's an lmg but it's still really strong i'll probably be live streaming really soon uh season nine so be sure to go ahead and check out my stream channel gaming with gregory live and of course before i wrap things up i've been doing this for the past few videos i'm gonna leave a g that looks like this one here somewhere in the gameplay for the video if you find it just leave a comment in the comment sections with the like the timestamp, and i'll give you a shout out in the next one i pick like one random person who gets it and uh somebody who got it from the last video i'll go ahead and leave them up there so shout out to you and yeah so i did it again for this video so yeah good luck finding it and that's it guys i'll see y'all in the next one have a good one peace out